I use the C5 in my pedal board. I know a lot of players run, you know, delay and chorus in the loop, but I have it in front of, you know, uh, the signal chain. I love the way it sounds, you know, it's a, it's, it's a, it provides a rich and th th thick and warm chorus sound, and, and I use it for, uh, you know, a lot of the rhythm stuff that I do, uh, and also uh, for some of the cleaner tones, obviously. So I, I use two uh, delay pedals, I use the DD3, in front on my pedal board, and I use the DD7, which I, I run through the loop. Obviously, you know when you when you have the delay run in the front, it it gives you uh, you know that old analog, more dirty sound, you know, with the delay. But uh, if you want to have that sweet ending on your leads, you know, you make a note sing, you know, or have a really cool ending, you know, you, and you want a really crystal clear delay, you should run it through the loop. I just love that delay sound, and I want to have that for all my solos. I used to play, you know, I have a total dry sound and re rely on the front of house guys, but uh, the last couple of years I just wanted to re really hear that through the speakers or on stage, you know, really hear that delay on my leads. But uh, I use the DD3 uh, for um, more like as a, as a loop effect. I have the setting uh, that, you know, I just put everything up to 10, and uh, it basically copies your last phrase, you know, it can create this really cool loop, you know, and then you can do really crazy stuff with it, you know, with uh, feedback. You can just turn it up and it goes up to warp speed, which is pretty awesome. Stuff that I endorse and the stuff I use is stuff that I like. It's part of my sound and my musical identity and what I do on stage and on my albums. You know, I, I don't use gear that doesn't, you know, it doesn't fit me as a player or, or as, a, as a musician. You know, so uh, I use it because I like the way it sounds. It's simple as that, really.